All right, guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy T-Bone here, back for another part of Twin Mirror. Really excited to jump back into this game. The first part was really interesting. Found out a lot of things that's uh, that are going on, but we still have a ton to uncover in this story. So we're only just getting started. If you haven't watched that, make sure you go back and watch that first episode. Really important to know what exactly is going on um, within the story. And uh, yeah, you find out a lot, quite a bit of stuff within that first 45 minute episode that uh, that I posted already. So make sure you guys go watch that if you haven't already. If you have, welcome back. Really appreciate your support. Make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel. Smash the thumbs up button on this video. And I won't take any more time, guys. I know you're eager to get back into this story as much as I am. So here we go. Let's get back into it. And here we are. We uh, woke up the next morning. Looks like it's 9.15. We have to meet with Anna at 9.30, so we're going to have to get ready quick. Um, I have it paused right here, but um, looks like um, our thoughts right now or what the hell happened last night. I was awake at I was at Nick's wake, knocking back drink after drink, right after taking my anti-anxiety meds, hey, meds and alcohol. Never good, guys. Nick, Anna, Joanne, or Joan, Walter, it's all a blur. I blacked out, and I have a pounding headache and a sinking feeling. I need some water. All right, let's see what's going to happen here. Some voices in our head, man. Oh, what kind of checkouts at nine? No, stay out. Okay, okay. What kind of monsters have a checkout at nine? For real, though. What happened last night? Homie, I hope you didn't drive home. Oh, head. Pills plus drinking. That was not my best idea. Yeah. Did I black out or what? Ugh. I can't. I can't think straight. I need some water on my face. God, what a headache. I feel like a small jackhammer in my left temple. Please What's let me in here? Water. Uh, any water? Beer? Snack? That looks like some... Is that... No, that's not water. That's vodka. That is vodka. The opposite of water. No water. Of course. Alright. Let's go to the sink. Come on. Walk any slower there, buddy. Reflects a face that looks like a stranger. I was at least hoping I'd look better than I feel. <laughs> Solid. I already feel more human. Now, where did I put my shirt? Don't know, fam. Maybe in your bag? Let's search it. Even sober, I've never put my shirt back in the bag. <laughs> True. If my jacket's here, my shirt can't be far. All right. Bro, could you walk any slower? Late for checkout. They can wait a bit more. Yeah. Didn't even get under the covers. Glad I even made it to the bed. For real, though. Bro, where did I put this shirt? I'm not taking no more pills. Okay. My shirt in the tub? Uh, oh, no. Uh-oh, this just got serious, boys and girls. Yikes. Holy shit. 
That's not good. That's... Where did I get this? Wow. What did I do? Breathe, homie. Breathe. What? Oh my gosh. Hopefully we get to relive whatever happened last night. What is this? Yo, this game just got real fast. Who is that? What in the world, bro? Yo, honestly, someone who experiences anxiety on a regular basis, please tell me, is, is this what it feels like sometimes? Like at certain points? Run, 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 run. Sam, be more careful. Breathe. Focus. Okay, so we don't want to run through the mirrors. I don't think. Oh my gosh, bro. What? No, 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 no. Ah, crap. Find the way to calm down. Dude, I have no clue. This is terrifying. And like he like we don't move like nimbly at all. Like it's so hard to move. Okay, I gotta find the right door. So there's apparently a correct door. That wasn't it. It's like closing in on us quicker and quicker. Bro, this is honestly like horrifying. This is like Sam, what? Focus. You have I to didn't... find the right door. You need to steady yourself. What happens if I just stand there? I don't know. I'm like too scared to just stand there. I don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe this is the right door. There we go. That was the right door. Okay. That was horrifying. No, go, 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 go. Ah. Ah. No, I'm not giving in. Oh my gosh, bro. Sam, Sam, 
Samuel, focus. Focus on anything other than the fear. Jeez, bro. Just breathe. You're all right. Please. Whew. What in the world, bro? This is crazy. You're doing I good. I told you. Really good. You're almost there. Dang. Man has some serious anxiety. Focus. Choose. Act. Deliberately. Nah, not that. That man's looks worried. Okay, it's all right. It's all right. It's just not that one. No, that's just pretending nothing is wrong. I've done that enough. Okay. Now that that guy just looks super freaked out. What about this one? Yes, answers. Good or bad, I need answers. Yes, I do. Correct. We need to remember. Okay. I know what you're thinking. Stop thinking that. Pills and alcohol? You're lucky enough you didn't wake up dead. I need to know what happened last night. The last place I remember is the bar, so I'll start there. A squeaky nail gets hammered down. Maybe don't play lone wolf detective. Huh. There's too many questions about last night. All the obvious answers are bad, but worth knowing. Not all answers are worth knowing. I can't just run from whatever this is. So either help me or get out of my head. It's your life, Sam. I just live here. That is true. Okay. Well, the game just turned upside down real quick. Wow. Okay. So. Jeez. Had a little chase scene there. I don't like being chased. Even if it's by imaginary feelings. Alright. Coal Miner's Haven. Back to the bar we were at. Going in the back door it looks like. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Do you really think breaking and entering is a good idea? Used Ethan's hidden spare key, no breaking involved. I don't know if he'll see it that way. I could wait for the bar to open, or I could look for answers. I picked the latter. Okay. Well. Yeah. Alright. No, we're not taking booze. Doubt Ethan's account somehow led to the blood on my shirt. Yeah, the security could, but uh, for some reason I can't. I 
can't view it, but... Okay... Oh my gosh, come on game. Let's open that up. Whoa. What happened here last night? First, look around, figure out what happened. Okay, so it looks like we can... I ended up drinking alone. So who brought that second glass? Interesting, interesting. Tried to clean up, it looks like it says. Oh no. What does this say over on the restroom? Don't know. Ugh. Did I do this? Sorry, Nick. Yikes. Okay, let's keep looking. Whose hat? What knocked this clock off the pillar? I don't know. These were sent scattering. Someone thrown into them? I feel like maybe it had to do with that dentist guy. He might have fallen off the table. Seems some people got rowdy last night. Dennis was sitting right there, I'm pretty sure. Ripped. Did this happen yesterday, or was it always like that? It seems there was a fight. It could explain the blood on my shirt. It Does could. Does mean that I was involved? I won't be able to find out without more evidence. Well, what else do we need? Very interesting. Okay, so I can't go back in there, so I gotta keep looking around here. DG. Dennis's initials. Yeah. Was he involved in whatever happened? Wouldn't surprise me. The Wouldn't surprise ruined. me either. Looks like they were knocked over, then stepped on. Jeez, bro. The pot People was are messed shattered. up. Looked like it might have been kicked. Could be the same blood that was on my shirt. Well, whatever happened, it wasn't our blood, because we have literally zero scratches on us. So that's the the crazy part. Joel's hat. Maybe we ended up huh. having it out after all. Who's Joel? Oh, that's the guy who we were kind of a dick to. Or maybe it was just Dennis and Joel and we had nothing to do with it. It might have fallen off the table. Okay. Seems some people got rowdy last night. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Go. What's this? Definitely not the wake Nick would have wished for. 
Definitely not. What a mess. Hope this wasn't me. Hmm. Hughes, Hughes business, business card. card. Wonder why it's here. Drink plenty of water. Great for headache. That could be for us. I think I've seen enough to put together the pieces of what happened last night. Just gotta think it through. Alright. Gotta go to the mine palace. At least I can always count on this place to make sense. Suppose so. Alright, let's work uh... out what happened while I was blacked out last night. Yeah. Just need to think it through logically, throw out impossibilities. Until only the truth is left. Interesting. I know I got into a fight, but it could have played out in many different ways. I have to think it through. Find out what really happened. I mean, we don't know that. My memory ends here. But we don't know that we were in a fight. I mean, we have no scratches on us, nothing. And someone approached me. I can't remember who it was, but I know we got into a fight. Obviously. figure out how the fight went, I should figure out who my assailant was. Broken glass, damaged seat. It's possible the fight made its way over here. Okay. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. Yeah. Where's the, uh, where's the other questions? Broken glass, damaged seat. It's possible the fight made its way over here. stage near the jukebox definitely could have ended over there because of the I don't know um, looks like not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl that could be it but I still have to figure out who was sitting next to me yeah No clue. There's the cap, there was the bracelet. I mean, if we ended at the stage, then it would be Dennis. That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. Oh, 
How are you supposed to tell? It just doesn't make any sense. Like, then, then what happened to the rest of the place? Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. Okay, that makes sense. That definitely makes more sense now. Okay. And then the jukebox is not in the same place. Maybe it was involved in the fight somehow. Joel's cap. Maybe he provoked me again after I'd had a few. Boom. Go over there. Hat falls off. Okay. Yeah, so I mean any any of these could have happened. How are you supposed to know? I mean, really just any of those could have happened. I don't think we would have fought Hugh. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Um, I don't know, man. I just seriously do not know. Like, I mean, any mixture of those things could have happened. I don't know, man. I'm gonna go with Dennis just because. That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. Looks like not even the memorial board was spared right. by the brawl. Let's go ahead with that. I, have I honestly picture now. I have no clue. You know, the man who talks to himself has an idiot for an Fuck audience. Fuck off, Dennis. <laughs> I see why you have so Oh, many that's Dennis. Yeah. You would know about that. At least my best friend never slept with my ex. Who do you blame more, huh? The backstabbing asshole or the bitch? Who <laughs> Yikes. You don't talk about Anna or Nick that way. You think you know who Nick was, Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. What are you talking about? I'll show you. But not here. Sam. Meet me later at Sam. the Uh oh. <laughs> Someone found us in the bar. Ethan is coming back in through the front. At least I think it's him. You think it's him? I can't actually tell if. You can't tell. What I know for sure is, if it's Ethan, he may not be happy to find you here. So I strongly suggest you leave. And if you don't, well, I don't have time to lose explaining myself to Ethan. True that. Get the fuck out. Hmm. Okay. So that was interesting. We have no clue if that's actually what happened. No clue at all. Downtown Basswood. But it still doesn't explain how her shirt got bloody.
Of course. I come back on the town's Miner's Day celebration. <laughs> Yikes. Well, you always did have great timing. No time to dwell on that. Focus. Hmm. You tried Dennis's cell phone. No answer. So what now? There's that coffee date with Anna. Anna might have to wait. I want to see if anyone has seen Dennis first. I don't know. I'll play it by ear. I thought I was supposed Just to meet Anna at 930. You. She's extending the olive branch. Don't drop it. Okay, so I guess we're gonna see if we can uh, find I Dennis here. Time before meeting Anna, might as well ask if anyone saw Dennis. True. All right, I got into a drunken fight with Dennis last night. He made some insinuations about against Anna and Nick. We literally could not know that since we were blacked out. Challenged me to follow him somewhere. I'd better find Dennis. Put the puzzle pieces back together. It's likely someone in town can tell me where he is. I guess I just gotta find someone. Don't know who, but someone. Now I can't just have you hanging around here all day like a ghost. It's a free Hello, country. Hello, person. Hey, don't give me that. People have been complaining, so don't let me see you here again. You fascist. What you just? I'm just doing my job. It's nothing personal. <laughs> Looks like Solid. you're not the only one who started off on the wrong foot today. Guess Sorry not. you have to see that. Some people you just can't reason with. Speaking of, you're still in town. I'll be leaving as soon as I can. Probably. I don't like that probably. I can't tell you to move along, but I suggest it strongly. Trust me, I get it. You were only in one fight last night because I stopped most of the others. Sam, okay. I like you, but you're a hornet's nest. So we were in a fight, obviously. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Why are you looking for him? I wanted to apologize for last night. Huh. I'll just stay out of his way for a day or two. I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. I'm not judging. His head's full of smoke. It takes a while to clear it out. Well, be nosy. The person you were talking to? Who's that? A lost soul. Vagrancy isn't a crime, but loitering and trespassing are. I try to be understanding, polite, but it's hard when no one is polite back. People call you pig or fascist just for we'll doing your job. We'll listen to him. And they go and do things like deface the whole town. And I'm the asshole. You can get under your skin. Where's where's you at day after day? It grinds you down. It makes you feel like you've been lifting logs all day. Okay, bro. Sorry about that. I went off for a spell. Just remember, this town don't always respect the things you do. Oh, I think we know. Trust that. me, I know. I don't want to keep you, officer. Have a good day. Keep your nose clean. Okay. So I guess we gotta try to find someone else who's seen him. Let's go in here. Who the heck is that? Okay, so it looks like Kathy works here. Yo, get out the way. Okay. We'll just say sorry. sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. Asshole. That's enough. Yeah, bro, like you could literally just walk around us. There's plenty of room. Kathy and Hugh were both at the wake. I should talk to them. Oh, and so was that lady. Oh, 
Ah, Samuel. Sorry about Richard. He's always a little on edge. I'm surprised to see you up and about after the night you had. Honestly. <laughs> I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. You Jeez. were quite inebriated. All right. Yeah, I got to hear all about it secondhand. Really not my finest hour. I would say not. After your barroom brawl, I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. And I tried to get you to hand over your keys. But you would have none of it. Sorry about that. The man I had a fight with, Dennis. Have you seen him today? Seen him? No. No, can't say I have. Thanks anyways. That article you wrote... It's done this town a lot of good. Yeah, bro, you told me already. <laughs> How do you figure? The mine was a band-aid on a torn artery. Sometimes, doing what is unpopular is still the moral choice. You probably believe that. I'd offer you something for that hangover. But I find, in some cases, time is the best medicine. True that. Last night was a wake-up call. I'm gonna try focusing on clean living. Everything is poison. All that matters is the dose. Now you have a good one, young man. Was there anything else you needed, by the way? I have to ask. Yes, I guess. Why move here, of all places? You know, here, Basswood. A blink, and you miss this town. People move out of Basswood, not in. The town I used to work in had a hundred other pharmacies in it. No, oh, you'd make sales. But you don't get to know anyone, ever. Plus, if I'm being honest, I always imagined I'd retire in a small mountain town. Samuel, I saw you talking to Walter. Can you ask him something for me? Sure thing. What is it? I knew I could count on you. I was hoping the Basswood Jungle could run a piece about me. You see, some of the older folks see me as an outsider still. Can't say I'm surprised. I'll try and remember to ask next time I talk to him. I really appreciated the chat, but I'm afraid it's time I get back to work. Do what, come reading, see me again. reading your newspaper, bro? All right, let's see. This lady's over here. Let's talk to Tara. Oh, Sam, you here to pick up something for your uh condition i have a condition solid yeah the one that makes you the way you're always so you it's all right wow. of course i won't tell anyone what is that supposed I to mean actually have leaky gut it's where your intestine starts to dissolve and your half digested food starts to oh out just your listen blood. to her because i'm nice i'm trying to find something for it and if it doesn't help it can't hurt i'm glad someone took over this old drugstore can you imagine this town without a pharmacy would be like, well, me with a hole in my gut. Okay, Tara, you crazy bee. I'll just check the internet when I get home. It'll tell me what to get. It was nice talking to you, Tara. Oh, yes. <laughs> Always. <laughs> All right. Well, so much for that. Let's talk to Kathy. Hey, Kathy. Yo, oh, Sam. What can I do you for? Try and take some pills. Dennis hasn't come in today, has he? Dennis? I haven't seen him since last night. Why? You looking for trouble? Last night we got into a fight. Like a fist fight. Really? I'm oh, sorry, I missed that. You could both use the thumping, but I left early to go check on Joan. Did you have to say that fantasy about her father being murdered was real? That's not what I... I just want her to be a little girl, not a little Sam Higgs. Sneaking wow. around and getting into trouble. And now all she can talk about is how you're going to prove that she's right. Sorry. I know it's not your fault, but I just don't. I don't... I don't know what to do with her. 
She's my daughter. And I feel like I'm losing her. I gotta go. The boss sees me John instead of working. I'll get an earful. True. Alrighty then. No one in here was much help. Nope. Let's see if we can talk to someone else. All right, back outside. Let's see if we can go find anyone else. That was Anna's favorite shop, apparently. Shouldn't have talked to you, I guess. Ad for what? Oh. Okay, whatever. Remember when Let's... I think this is the cafe we're supposed to meet Anna in. Ah, uh, now I've gone and made a bit of a mess. Oh, Sam, is that you? Dear, please, could you help an old doddering woman? I got you. You are many things, but not doddering. Plotting, maybe. Sam, you shouldn't say such things, even if they're true. Mind Palace for the card game. All right, let's go have a memory. Okay. Memories okay, with Joan, it looks like. For two points. What is the name of the pink pony on the animated cartoon show Prancers? The super cool one I was telling you about the other day? You know, my favorite? Uh, Polly. Polly Pony? No, that's her sister. She's totally different. Then what is her name? I'm not telling. What if the card comes up again? You really like to win, huh, Buck? All right, coffee for you and hot chocolate for the young. Is that a comic about monsters? It's about Tardigrade Man. He can survive almost anything. His only weakness is his own emotions. He's based on the microscopic Tardigrades. It has eight legs and can survive star radiation. Huh. Well, it doesn't Interesting. Seem like the kind of thing a young woman should be reading. What is that supposed to mean? She says she's going to be an entomologist. What can you do? I am to be an entomologist. I'm going to study every bug, especially the crawlies. But tardigrade isn't a bug. It's a micro animal. Well, all right then. Good for you. Sounds like just what a young woman like you should be reading. So, uh, can we play this again tomorrow maybe? We can play as often as you want. You promise? Yeah, I promise. Pinky swear? If you break those, you go to hell. I don't think you're supposed to be using that. Solid. Language. You can't break this. No matter what. You're real intense for a kid, you know that? Say it. I won't break the pinky swear, no matter what. Thank you so much. You're always such a dear. True. Say, Christina, have you... Oh, Sam, it's been years. It really is so nice to see you again. Yeah, likewise, but... I wanted to come to the funeral yesterday, but just thinking about it, oh, dear. Now, I know you want to interrupt her because I want to interrupt her. So eyes on me, buddy. Happy thoughts, deep breaths. Yeah, well, uh, speaking of the... Poor Joan, losing her father at such a young age. Oh, what a tragedy. I was trying to find one of those games she likes so much to cheer her up. Poor child only has Kathy now, and, well, far from me to criticize I'll anything, listen. but these last few months, Kathy hasn't been all there, if you know what I mean. Well, hopefully this tragedy will be a wake-up call for her to be more present. She should take a few weeks off to be with Joan. I know you would never refuse, don't you agree? Totally. Mm. 
Yeah, of course. I'm sure if poor Kathy would only ask him for the time. Ah, but look at me. I talk and talk and talk, but you had something to say, didn't you? I did. Thank you, Christina. Have you seen Dennis today? Dennis? No, it's odd, actually. He usually stops in for Sunday mornings. Like how uh -oh. you and Nick used to come over from the paper with Anna every Friday. You three always seem so happy. Oh, but you, Sam, how have you been doing? It's been, well, you know cruise control? I've been on cruise control. You might miss it once it's gone. Life rarely lets you coast for long. You look well. I've been better. Hung over this morning. You know what's good for that? Coffee. I know, Christina. Not right now. I gotta go. Okay. So, obviously didn't know. Eventually, I'll find someone who knows where this man is. Okay. So, let's go try to find someone else now. The Gossip Club. Alright. Um, there's those people who did... No luck so far, but I should keep digging around. Okay. So must have seen Dennis. All right. What about these people over here? Hey, Joe. Joe looked like a mean man. Joe. Sam. You old bridge jump eye, you been? What's the calendar say? What does that two even years, mean? years, Joe. It's been two years. Too long. Heard you showed up yesterday. Yep. Boys give you trouble? Uh, maybe a little. But don't worry. It's hard for me to blame them. After the mine closed, well... It ain't easy to put food on the table. Don't let that weigh on you. No one else has lost their legs recently. Hmm. So that's uh Anna's dad. I've been holding up. Terribly. But Anna keeps me young. How'd you ever let her get away? Ah, uh, great question, man. You probably know better than me. I heard all about it. Still, I always liked you. Straight shooters are a rare breed these days. I like a man that can look me in the eye and say what he means. Thanks, Joe. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? I wish. Just about the only guy I could talk hockey with. Not football? I want to talk football. I could just grab anybody on the street. Dennis actually enjoys a man's sport. But no, I haven't seen him. Okay. I noticed you weren't at the bar last night. Went home after the service. The cripple takes it out of you. Normally, I'd be rotting away in my recliner, but I like to come out, see the decorations, pay my respects to old iron here. This town's been a mining town before I was born, and it'll be one after I die. It's good to get out and celebrate your roots every now and then. I don't have the same perspective on Miner's Day that other people have. No, I suppose you wouldn't. All right. See you I later, Joe. Places I need to be, but it's good to see you. Just promise you won't wait two years before saying boo again. <laughs> I'll do my best. Joe has no idea where Dennis went. Someone must have seen him after the fight. Who's this old man? It just says old man, so. 20,000 men that marched through Boone County to reach Blair Mountain in 1921 where they fought for what we have now. Nothing worth having is not worth fighting for. True. Okay, who else can I freaking talk to? Oh, that's Joan. Hey, Bug. What are you doing out here? 
Hey, Muley. <laughs> Waiting for my mom to get off her shift at the pharmacy. Drawing. I got a new journal after I left the old one somewhere. <laughs> See? Did you get home okay last night? Yeah. I bike everywhere. It's not like anything scary bad happens in Basswood. At least not normally. Um, any word on my dad? Did you really look into it? Couldn't last night. I haven't found anything yet. I don't think. Let me know if you find anything. Please. I feel like I need something. It's just this town, you know? This place. It feels like I'm suffocating. I can't breathe. Oh, you're breathe. like a 12 year old. I can't think. I can't stand my mom. I'll listen I don't to like her. school. Well, except for science. And just. When I imagine myself in the future, I just don't. I don't know. I don't see this place or these people. I'm somewhere else. Anywhere else. Typical small town. Everybody wants to stupid, get out, but nobody just... ever does. It's not stupid. If you want, you can go anywhere in the world, have adventures, fall in love. I mean, that's what I've been told, anyway. Gross. Okay, well, that other stuff sounds okay, though. <laughs> Thanks for listening. I got you, homie. I got grown-up stuff I gotta do. I've got kid stuff I gotta see about. So, we're both busy. I'll be there, homie. Alright, I think I gotta go see her, but we will do that on the next part, because this one's run a little bit long. We were trying to find any freaking information out about Dennis, and we couldn't find anybody. Let me run around here, see if there is literally anybody else. Pretty sure there is not, though. I've got a uh, a good feeling that Anna's gonna Anna's be the one for that. Anna's at the coffee shop. Yeah. She's gonna be the only one that knows anything about Dennis. So, pretty much all this episode was just uh, talking to people that uh, weren't useful at all, really. But that's all right. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and just go do it. Let's just go make it happen. Otherwise, it's not much of an interesting episode for you guys. Just a lot of me running around, talking to people, having some some good conversations, but a lot of it just kind of pointless that could really be cut otherwise because, yeah. imaginary person to confide in she might slow me down or try to involve the cops she might do those things yes or she might be someone who you can trust 
who can help. Hmm. Wow. Um. Bro, I have no clue. Uh. Oh man, guys. Oh. Yikes. I got no clue. Uh. I have no clue. No clue, no clue, no clue. Uh, fudge. Um, oh my gosh, guys. I literally have no clue. I'm just sitting here and I literally have no clue. Uh, <laughs> I feel like we're gonna end up getting kind of the same result either way like we're gonna find out what happened and all that stuff so i don't know if it's worth it to tell her could get ourselves in some uh some trouble um I... <laughs> screw it we'll tell her I woke up today and my shirt was covered in blood. Blood? What happened? I don't know. Last night, pills and alcohol mixed. It's all a blur. That's why I'm looking for Dennis. Have you tried the Basswood Jungle? He likes to work weekends. No, not yet. I'll do that right now. Sam, is there anything I can do to help? Oh, uh, nah. I'm just gonna... Do my own thing. <laughs> oh, Sam. What have you done? Okay. So that didn't go as bad as planned. Alright, so. We are going to end it there, guys. We found out now where Dennis might be. Probably is going to be there. Otherwise, there really is nowhere else he could be. And no one else we could talk to that might know. So... Thank you so much, Anna. Appreciate it. Um, but yeah, guys, we're going to pick that up in the next episode, see if we can figure out a little bit more about what happened last night at the bar, what went down, why our shirt might be completely covered in blood. But yeah, guys, really appreciate you tuning in to this second part of Twin Mirror. This game is a ton of fun so far. Um, it's all just a big mystery right now, so it's really exciting to uncover it, and I just want to uncover it super fast, so it's always nice. Um, but... You always want to take it a little bit slow and cherish the game because once it's over, you're just like, oh, man, I wish it wasn't over. But anyway, thank you guys so much. I'll stop rambling on. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And, uh, yeah, guys, comment down below. Let me know what you want to see on the channel. Christmas is coming up. A lot of good games coming out. Cyberpunk will be on the channel. This will be on the channel. Um, I mean, yeah, guys, I'm really excited for it. And uh, it's your boy T-Bone, guys. Until next time. Peace.